everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steele NYC and welcome back to my channel and the packing for New York Fashion Week and a turned up Labor Day weekend in New York City vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, I'm going to be showing you what I'm packing. I'm actually gonna have to rewind it back because I packed when I was in Miami and now I'm already back in New York. But there were a few things I wanted to show you guys here before I show you what I packed. So I'm back in New York City. It is about to be Labor Day weekend and I always have an amazing time Labor Day. And you know, there are some very fun fashions that happen during Labor Day weekend. You know, the Caribbean comes out. And so I'll show you guys what I'm packing for that. And then we'll get into all of like the dresses, the, the accessories, and all of the things that I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. I'm not gonna try anything on because I want you guys to be surprised. But I want to show you and link everything before I wear it, post it, and it gets sold out. Because y'all know we sell things out over here. Um, but first, I am so excited to be working again with Ideal Jewelry. You guys, y'all already know, I'm, I've been working with them for quite some time now. I wear their pieces a lot. Currently, I have on my lab-grown diamond stud with my Uma add-on, which is lab-grown diamonds going around in kind of a teardrop. I have on my power ear cuff, which is two rows of lab-grown diamonds. Um, and it's so cool because I don't have a piercing here, but you don't need one for this ear cuff. And it just looks so like chic and cool. And then I also have one of my favorite bracelets from ideal as well that i wear every day on my stack and you can see it right here in the middle this is the glow bracelet and it has four clusters of lab grown diamonds as you can see there's one cluster there one there one there and one there and i also love that it's adjustable so i can kind of make it tight you know medium or you know, whatever size is perfect for me. And so, yeah, I have a new package in from Ideal. I'm gonna go through, t tell you guys about Ideal, show you what I got in new, because you will see these pieces worn over and over during New York Fashion Week. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, so of course they always have incredible packaging. Look how gorgeous that is. It's a cute white box with a bow. I also got a super cute handwritten note from the team because I've worked with them so much. Um, yeah, and then you get a little card here just giving you details about Ideal. I think it's so cool that my add-on earpiece is the one that's actually on this card. But Ideal is all about lab-grown diamonds, sustainability, affordability, attainability, as well as modularity. And what I mean by that is that everything is modular, so you can mix and you can match things. For instance, this is just a stud. So you can buy the stud, and then over time, you can do add-ons. So as you can see, this is just the stud. It's a gorgeous lab-grown diamond. They come in different sizes. And then you can buy add-ons like this one, which is the Uma add-on, with diamonds going all around in kind of a teardrop shape. And you see that little circle there in the middle? That's where the stud goes through. And then you just put it in your ear. So all of their jewelry pieces are modular in that way. You can mix, you can match. If you have an ear party going on or if you have a lot of piercings, they have such cool like pieces that you can connect to different things. Um, it really makes me want another piercing. We'll see if I get one, girl. But let's get into what I got. Okay, so I opened up the box and it just says something special from Ideal. And I love that they always send these pouches, which is so great for traveling with your jewelry. It's almost like a beautiful natural color with a zipper on top. It's kind of puffy, really cool. And then inside we have a little something and we have a little something here. I think, let's start with the pouch. All right, so let's open this up. And inside we have two boxes. 
We also have two how to care for your pieces cards, which is great. We're gonna start with this one. And I love how like minimal their designs are. This is a fierce little thing made for you. <gasps> I know what this is. You guys, this is my first necklace from Ideal. I mean, I have a bracelet, I have a ton of their earrings um, and add-ons, but I don't have a necklace. And so I went for the necklace with a letter M. So this is the initial diamond duo necklace from Ideal. It is 14 karat gold. You can choose your initial and it also comes with a beautiful dangling lab grown diamond. And I love it. Let's go ahead and put it on because it is adjustable just like my bracelet, um, which I really love. So you can really kind of tailor it to match um, if you wear a stack. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And as you can see, there's quite a few different holes that you can settle into. There's one there to make it more like a choker. There's one here. And then there's the last one for the longest length. And for me, I think I want the longer length since currently I'm not wearing any other necklaces. But again, great for stacking. So I want to get you guys nice and close so you can see the vibes. But this is on the longest length and I think it looks really cute. It's super dainty yet chic. It's not overpowering um, and I love it. Okay, let's see what else we got. Next up, I got another ear cuff, but this one is so cool. Like, of course, I love the two strand where you could just pop it on your ear but I went for this one instead. And this is the Spark Ear Cuff. This ear cuff has a row of stunning, like shining. I wish you guys could see how brilliant these lab grown diamonds are. Cuff, a single cuff of lab grown diamonds. And then it just has a little chain that can connect to your stud. So I'm gonna set this ear up with this chain so you guys can see it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take out my diamond stud and it does like help to start with a pair of studs because then you can buy all of the add-ons and I'm going to remove the Uma add-on off of it. So we're going to take this little portion off and you can see that this has a little hole right there and what's going to go through that is my diamond stud so let's put my diamond stud back in my ear put the earring back on that so this will make it look more like <laughs> i actually have a piercing and then we're just going to take the cuff and place it in my ear even though it's like not a real earring and then you can see this little thing I'm obsessed with it. This is such a cool way to like explore more piercings without having to actually get more piercings. And I hope you all are able to see just how cool that looks. So I literally just slid it through my lab grown diamond and popped it on. So I will be sure to link that one below as well. Like it's really looking like I have an ear party. Ah, I love it. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's get into the next box. Honestly, I can't remember what all I got. Again, it says, be the light. You have the eye for beauty. <gasps> oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I, I got another necklace. All right, you guys. So this is the Lena necklace. Again, it comes with a 14 carat gold chain. I could have also just bought the add-on since I have this chain. Everything is interchangeable. Everything works with everything. This is the exact same chain from this necklace as well. But I did want to create a neck stack. This has gorgeous lab grown diamonds and kind of like a little curve. There are six of them. How do you see how brilliant 
this is and how dainty and beautiful this 14 karat gold chain is so i feel like i want this one to be a little bit further up my neck like so so i think we're going to put it on the tightest or the middle the middle hoop and we'll see how that looks all right guys so this is the vibe it's so dainty and beautiful i put it on the middle hoop i could probably put it on the last one to bring it up to about there and i think that would look even better but the lena is so stunning with these lab grown diamonds and it kind of even plays off the one diamond here and the duo um initial necklace I'm just an ideal girly. Okay, we have one more box, and honestly, I don't remember what's in this box, but we're gonna get into it. And I'm already loving my spark cuff. She's a vibe. All right, guys, and last but not least, we got a little gift from Ideal to hold all of our gorgeous lab-grown diamonds, 14 karat gold bracelets, necklaces, and of course, all of our tiny, tiny modular pieces so that we don't lose them. And it is this super cute Ideal like leather zippered case. How adorable is this? I love this. You can loop all of your uh, necklaces here so that they don't get tangled and kind of let them fall into this pouch here hopefully you all can see that there is a zipper pocket for your tiny modular add-ons and of course you can kind of loop your add-ons here as well so that you don't lose them because there are quite a few and they're small and this will make it so easy to travel with all of your ideal pieces or to store them without a problem. All right, you guys. So those are all of the new end pieces I got. I got the duo initial necklace. I got the Lena necklace. I got the spark ear cuff. Um, and I think that's it. And I'm loving everything. Oh, I'm such an ideal girl. So if you are the type of girl who loves dainty jewelry, jewelry that you can switch in and out, modular jewelry, you're going to love ideal. The prices are amazing. It's all about sustainability. And I mean, the diamonds are diamonding. I mean, they're, they're giving lustre, luster, lush, luxuriousness, all the L's okay uh, so make sure to check out my links down below i will literally link every piece of ideal jewelry that i own including um everything that i showed you previously um before we got into this haul and everything that i got in the haul and of course special thanks to ideal for partnering with your girl on this portion of the video all right, you guys, you will be seeing all of these jewels throughout New York Fashion Week. Now, let's get into what I packed for New York Fashion Week as well as Labor Day. Let's head into my office, which is a play on the word closet and office. All right, you guys, we're in my office and I'm going to go through maybe like two pieces that are here and then we're going to rewind it back to Miami to show the rest of what I brought for New York Fashion Week. But it is Labor Day weekend or it's about to be in New York City and it's all about like fun and vibes and girl, we ought to have a good time. So let me show you what I have packed and brought to New York. First up is this net dress it's giving caribbean okay we have a whole bunch of colors in here it's netted it's fun uh it's basically like a knit net dress with two slits on the side it's like a maybe like a midi dress um and i plan to wear a bathing suit under this and i plan on wearing it to a rooftop party tonight <laughs> <laughs> so that should be fun i i was looking all over for something like this and i actually found this on poshmark i think it was like 15 20 bucks um and i've been finding some really cool like one-of-a-kind pieces on poshmark i'm actually working with them currently and so i created a list of things that i have my eye on for 
New York Fashion Week. Like, I'm talking incredible pieces, y'all, um, from Poshmark. So I will link those down below in case you're interested. In case you might want to go buy some of them before I have a chance to. There you go. But we have this dress, and I plan on styling it with the black bathing suit underneath. And then these little thong platform sandals that I got from Walmart yes walmart they are from the brand um no boundaries and i'll link these down below they're super fun they're just like it's giving like a caribbean beach party right but i'm going to a rooftop shindig tonight uh where lyrical is performing and uh that'll be in the next vlog that'll be in the labor day vlog but this is the vibe i'm going with for the party now in addition to that i have a birthday party to go to and the dress code is like laid back chic <sighs> and that was wasn't really giving me much but i feel like it's kind of like a denim jeans shorts you know a bomb shoe a cool top type of party it's not like a dress up glam type of party so what i'm thinking of wearing is probably a look that you all have seen before but it's this dior vintage shirt it's a j'adore dior shirt that's vintage from dior it has world champion 1947 on the back and i've always wanted one of these tops and i believe i got this from where did i get this from i feel like i got this on poshmark as well it might have been poshmark or vestiaire collective or farfetch they also have a pre-loved um section i can't remember exactly where i got it from but it was one of the more inexpensive ones because these can run you up to like a thousand dollars which is nuts for a t-shirt but i mean it's giving sex in the city vibes and i've always wanted one so i got one so i plan on wearing this top for the party and i think i'm going to pair it with this really cool pair of shorts where are the shorts oh here they are and I think I did wear this outfit in a in a speaking video, but I didn't wear it out. So I'm going to pair it with these paper bag waist denim shorts from something by Sanji. They're so cute. They're kind of cheeky. So, I mean, it's good for Labor Day. Um, and I love the vibe of this, like blue paired with this green. So I think that's kind of like a moment. It's kind of a vibe. I'm kind of here for it. It's cutesy. I'll end up probably putting my hair up in a high ponytail. Wearing, of course, you know what? I was going to say I was going to wear these. But I'm probably going to wear my new earrings from the brand uh, Elliot. You can find these at Revolve. They are hollow. But they're like a thick gold earring you know it's giving brooklyn you know it's giving harlem it's giving around the way girl with my hair up in a ponytail and i'll probably do a red lip since it's a nighttime event and then i'll probably pop on i kind of want to wear a red shoe i don't know why with that look but i'll probably end up wearing my balloon sandals from loewe you know, because we have to make a little bit of a statement. So I feel like my balloon sandals from Loewe are great because they're not too tall. They're comfortable. They're a conversation starter. They have black in them, which will kind of play off the black in my Dior top. And it's kind of look like a, a vibe in a moment. And I think for the bag, I kind of want to do Fendi. But like, can I wear Fendi? and Dior I feel like that might be doing the most but it really kind of goes like it, the vibe is there if not the Fendi bag and I did um keep this here for New York Fashion Week I can also go with my Maison Detta uh leather pebbled bag this is a great conversation starter as well either one of these bags would work for the look and so those are just a few things I brought for Labor Day. Um, I do have more. <laughs> so what we'll do now is I'll rewind it back to Miami. 
I'll take you through a few more pieces that I brought specifically for Labor Day weekend and then I'll show you all of the pieces that I brought um, that I'm bringing for New York Fashion Week and then we'll come back so let's do it all right you guys I hope you enjoyed that little haul from ideal by the way I still have on my ideal pieces loving this ear cuff too but we are back here in Miami so I can show you guys everything I am packing for Labor Day weekend as well as for New York Fashion Week I'm really excited I've been taking a look at my schedule kind of seeing what events and shows and previews I will be attending and that kind of determined what I would pack. So first, let's start with Labor Day because Labor Day weekend in New York City is like no other. I'm going to a party at Record Room, which should be really, really fun. Um, I have a facial in New York. I'm going to a birthday party. I'm going to a, a concert, a rooftop concert. I am probably gonna hit up somebody cookout girl. So all of my pieces for like Labor Day are kind of colorful, fun, very sexy, very Caribbean, if you know what I mean. So let's get into those pieces first. Now, you cannot go to a Labor Day event in New York without attending some kind of white party. I don't have plans to go to a white party yet, but I have some pieces I will definitely be bringing just in case starting with this dress this is the alexander wayne corset dress it's one of my favorite dresses and i've only really worn it twice i wore it out to dinner uh to poppy steak i believe here in miami a few years ago and i also wore it more recently to a rooftop event at mr purple in soho new york city for an alcohol brand and it was really cute and really fun and I love the way that it's like sexy without being like overtly sexy it is kind of a mini dress but it just snatches you in it has a corset on the inside it's more of a like a t-shirt dress this dress is super old but I will pop some photos up so you guys can get the vibe this dress is no longer available. It's quite old. It has to be at least two years old, maybe three years, maybe even four. I've had it for a really long time. Um, so I'll try to find something similar or if I can find it on the pre-love market, I will link it for you guys. But of course, you have to have something white for Labor Day weekend in New York City because uh, there's always a white party somewhere. Speaking of white, I have another white set that's probably more appropriate for a summertime vibe. It is from the brand Hanifa. Let me grab it for you. Also, I won't be trying any of these pieces on. Um, a lot of these things I've already worn, so I will just put up inspo or previous times I've worn it. But I will try to link everything, so if you want to see what it looks like on, you can definitely click the links. But this is a two-piece set from uh, Hanifa one of my favorites it is a white maxi skirt with a slit in the back and then it kind of has these like two pieces that kind of come up almost like underwear but not really it's a pretty thick cotton like can you guys see how kind of thick it is and so this would be good from day to night in new york because right now the days are pretty hot in new york city but the evenings are a little cooler so this is really nice i got this in a small and it fits pretty well and it has a matching little top here that's like a bralette and it has like a crinkle a very a really cool crinkle pattern on it as you can see the straps are not adjustable but the small fits fine and it does have quite a bit of stretch so really if you're a medium you could probably go with a small and if you are a large you can probably do a medium if you have a smaller bust. But yeah, one of my favorite sets, I have worn it, so I'll pop up some inspo photos so you guys get the vibe. But yeah, another two-piece set that would be great for like an all-white party. Now, I'm also going to a really fun party at Record Room. Record Room is like a club, but they only play vinyl records. It's in Long Island City. I've actually taken you guys there before in two different vlogs <laughs> um it's pretty fun i love it because 
it's really for like a 30 and up crowd based on like the music they play it's an older crowd which i enjoy because i'm in i'm 40. <laughs> so yeah um but it's a cute vibe in there but i thought that this would be so cute for the party that i'm going to which is for a fashion brand but this is the same set from hanifa i'll pop up some photos of me wearing this but again it's just a maxi skirt with a slit in the back but this time there's a color block with green and blue and i feel like because this party is more of it's gonna be like an afro beats type of vibe that this would go really well so yeah we're gonna pack this as well because this is giving vibes you know it's giving color it's giving fun it's giving sexy you know uh, yeah i have to let my abs out at least one more time before summer is over <laughs> So those are a few things I'm packing for Labor Day. I'm also gonna pack these little shorts. Now, every time I wear these shorts, people go nuts for them, quite literally. These are the denim Alexander Wang shorts. I've had them for so long. I don't know how long I've had these shorts. It gotta be like five years. I've had these shorts. I'll pop up some inspo. They are old, you guys. You guys are not going to find these shorts anywhere. Now, they have made a ton of dupes of these little shorts so i'll try and link a few i remember even walmart had a dupe at a at one time and i linked them and y'all sold them out so if you like these little very cheeky shorts they're called like the flutter shorts because they almost look like flutter how they just kind of flutter out i mean these are great for our labor day in new york city i mean you know they're teeny tiny that you could call them Poom poom shorts or coochie cutters. <sighs> yeah. This might be my last year being able to wear these because they have gotten the waist is snatched. And I don't know if I'm this snatched anymore, y'all. I don't know. This might be the last year for these. Don't hop in my DMs and ask me for them. I'm still gonna keep them. <laughs> Just in case. You know? Just in case. But I'll link some similar teeny tiny shorts because I feel like I'm definitely gonna get those shorts off while I'm in New York for Labor Day weekend. Okay, another old faithful I'm definitely taking for Labor Day is this hat. Y'all know this is my favorite hat. It's from Shop Nikki Beach. I also have it in black. You can get them at Revolve. It's one size fits all, but it has a little string inside of it so that you can adjust it. But like, you know, if I go to a cookout or somebody have a party in the park and we're outside and I need some coverage, this hat is the one. Like, can you imagine this hat with <laughs> these little shorts? You know, a little probably platform slide and a little, you know, tank top. It's, it's giving Labor Day. You know, it's giving summer is coming to an end type of vibes so i'll be sure to link the hat as well now let's get into a few pieces i'm more than likely going to wear for events pre and pre during and post new york fashion week but which all kind of circulate around new york fashion week so let's get into those and a lot of them i have hanging here already i already showed you guys this dress but this is more for labor day so let's start with this dress this is so cute actually i don't know this might be more of a vibe for like something for labor day um but i feel like after new york fashion week i think i have a, an event to go to it's a daytime event and i feel like this would be so cute it has a little fringe at the bottom it's colorful it's vibrant it's a halter top it ties in the back by the tailbone. Um, this dress, I showed this to you guys in a previous vlog. Hopefully you guys are watching the vlog so you get all of the tea. But this dress, I got it at Revolve and it's from the brand George Chachopoulos. And it's just so cute. It was on sale. It is more of like a heavier fabric. So maybe this can be worn you know on a day that it's not so warm 
but it's just so cute and I can see myself with my hair up in a little ponytail or with my natural hair kind of wavy and like out in a fro and I have these lace up yellow Tamara melon sandals that would eat this right up and then I'm thinking this Louis Vuitton Epi bag that is vintage but it also has like the leather has a little bit of like orange in it can you guys see the striations like this is a vibe so the shoes and the bag will kind of match the yellow kind of is pulled out with the bag and it'll be like a cutesy fun look for an event for sure okay let's get into the next two dresses because you guys sold them out on ASOS and then I believe they had a restock so hopefully these are still available but it's these two dresses here the butter yellow dress and the multicolored dress I want to see if they're the same yeah they're the same length I, I thought the yellow one was longer but this dress is so incredible you all it's so good it's so high fashion so chic I love that the sleeve hole is very long so it cuts low and I like that because then you can see my tattoo. Um, it has a hidden zipper up the back but the thing about this skirt is it has a ton of different ties so it kind of really snatches you in and then kind of jets out and down almost like you know a, a super old ball gown but it's really cool because you can tie the strands so many different ways. You can tie them back, you can let them loose. So that when you move around, it's just, it's a gorgeous dress. I'm not doing it justice by holding it up, but it's so stunning. And I feel like this will be great for like a fashion show. Um, I have a, quite a few shows. Well, not, I have two or three shows that I'm attending and this will be great for one of them. And I'm feeling like the way I'm going to style it is with blue. Um, because it's such a beautiful, like pale yellow that I think it would look great with navy blue as well as like a pop of red. So I have gorgeous navy blue lace up Christian Louboutin sandals that I plan on wearing with this. And then I want to get a navy blue Yankee fitted. Yes, I hope you are picking up what I'm putting down. And then I want to do a, just like a, a, a pop of, of red lip. And I feel like that will be a vibe. And that will kind of also bring this dress down a little because at the moment when you wear it by itself it's very elegant and I need it to lean a little more street especially for New York Fashion Week so I'll link this dress below I ended up getting it in a US size 6 the 6 fit fits perfectly so definitely go with your normal size in these ASOS dresses I will link them both uh, the second dress is literally the same as the first but it's multicolor and I showed you guys this in a previous vlog if you want to see it on. Anytime I have new in fashion in the title, there's usually a haul within that video. A lot of people don't watch vlogs. So if you don't, if you see that it's a vlog and you're like, I'm not going to watch it because it's not a haul. I usually do a haul in every single vlog. So you're probably missing some of the fashion pieces if you're not watching the vlogs. Um, like I don't care if you don't like vlogs but if you still want the fashion but don't want to watch the vlogs skip through to the fashion section because by the time you guys see this in just a haul or see it on me in a vlog like it's already sold out so yeah this is the same dress it has all of these really cool ties that kind of create this hourglass figure and then it really kind of juts out and down it's so cool on but I love the colors in this it's a little pink a little like light blue a yellow lime green and I have a really incredible like fragrance launch of a luxury brand that's happening during New York Fashion Week and they so kindly invited me to their launch uh, party and so I will be attending and this is a perfect look for that brand. I don't want to give it away. So make sure you watch the New York Fashion Week video. But this dress is going to be perfect for that event. I see my hair like slicked back and a little bun. I think I'm going to take my braids out after Labor Day. Um, and just wear my natural hair for New York Fashion Week. And then once I get back to Miami after that. I think I want a curly sew-in. 
<laughs> because I'm going to uh, over to Europe for a really incredible trip at the beginning of October. But you guys will see that soon. So yeah, I will link both of these dresses. Um, and the way I'll probably style this dress, I mean, there's so many amazing colors in this. It's kind of hard to decide what I'm going to like pull out as the focal point. But there is cream in this dress. So I'm definitely thinking like my mango cream sandals from Victoria Beckham mango collection. These are so fire. Like they're not very comfortable, but they look great. <laughs> I could probably wear them for about three hours before I need to sit. But if we're just going car to event, we're sitting down at the event, you know, we're having a cocktail or two, then these are perfect. And they're very like barely there. So they'll, they'll more than likely let the dress shine. And also because there's no ankle strap, they don't cut off my legs and make me kind of look shorter, especially when I'm wearing something like a midi dress. Um, if these are still available, I'll link them. They did come in black and burgundy. I ended up getting the burgundy ones as well because they're so good. In fact, the burgundy ones would even go well with the kind of like burgundy-ish yellow dress. So yeah, so good. Uh, I'm so excited about like this fashion week. I just don't know what to do with myself. Okay, so I'm also going to Harlem's Fashion Row. A fashion show this season I believe they kind of sat last season out but they are back and better than ever with their fashion show and style awards and so y'all know I gotta wear a black designer always and forever so this is what I'm thinking of wearing because this is new in but I haven't yet worn it one sec she's a stunner I feel like this will be perfect for the Harlem's Fashion Row Fashion Show and Fashion Awards. They're also having a after party. Now, I didn't go to the after party last year, but the year before I went and like Janet Jackson was at the after party, y'all. I'm going to the after party. <laughs> like, I shall be there this year. And I feel like this dress from Fumi the Label will be a vibe now i've had this for quite some time but i haven't worn it yet it's kind of stretchy it's a beautiful blue i love the sleeves they're very kind of avant-garde and fun it is a mini dress um with covered buttons i don't know if this dress is still available i don't know if, if they sold out of this um but i think this would just be so cool and i actually saw this dress at the previous new york fashion week when i went to the showroom um the black and fashion showroom and i bookmarked this in my mind and so as soon as it came out i got it and so i haven't had a chance to wear it yet but i think this new york fashion week would be perfect would be the perfect opportunity to wear this so let's pop that up here and i feel like i would also maybe style that with even that cream pump that i just showed you guys or maybe even we might do something kind of see-through like this. Sorry, these are dirty. I haven't had a chance to clean them. And I wore them yesterday or the day before yesterday and it rained. Um, but like these clear Bottega mules with white at the bottom, I could do that. Or I could do black instead since the Harlem's Fashion Row show is at night. So I could do black accessories and go for something super fun that I think would match very well, like these Hulueve balloon sandals. And then I can rock like a black, like super cute little clutch so that the accessories kind of match. Definitely thinking about wearing my hair either slick back or out in an afro with that look. I think it would look amazing. So yeah, we have that dress as well. And we have a few more pieces. I'm not really sure how I'm going to wear them or how I'm going to style them. But I want to show them to you. So let's get into those. First up, we have this gorgeous poochie skirt with the fringe raffia now y'all know i love a raffia y'all know i love a raffia i do 
Um, and like this is very tight and then the raffia kind of jets out. So I feel like I need to wear something more billowy on top. Definitely not something tight. What that will be, I don't actually know yet. But I feel like I had to pull this skirt out. I haven't worn it yet. This is definitely a New York Fashion Week moment. And one of the most expensive poochie pieces I've ever purchased. And I only have three. I have a scarf that is in this same print. I have a dress that I wore in Morocco for my birthday, Gorge. And I have this skirt. That's literally all I have from Poochie because y'all, Poochie is expensive. Like, I don't know why it's so expensive, but it's expensive. But the, the prints are just so beautiful. Now again, I, I think this will be really fun with my Loewe balloon sandals and maybe some kind of oversized black top or one of the, a top that's pulling out one of the colors in the skirt. But I feel like I want the skirt to do the talking. So the top has to be something kind of neutral, whether that's black or white or cream. We'll see how it all comes together, but definitely these two together, a vibe. Okay, next up, I would like to get these shorts off as well, but I mean, these are giving kind of winter vibes, so I need to assess the weather. These are my new in Sakai shorts that I got from Bergdorf Goodman, and they are a knit. Y'all, I didn't show y'all underneath, but look, underneath has built-in little silk bloomers. They are too cute. Oh. I got them in a size two, which is like a medium in Sakai pieces. So they are shorts and they're just like so fun. They actually really remind me of like these denim shorts that I've shown you guys. They're pretty like kind of similar, but a little bit longer. And I'm not sure what kind of top I will wear these with, but I think these will look really well with my Balenciaga uh, boots that have a little cutout in the buckles. Um, I think I wore them recently in like a get ready with me. I'll pop the reel up here. But everybody went crazy for the boots. And I'm telling you guys, they have so many of those boots on sale. Uh, like they're old, so they're not, you can't buy them anywhere. But resellers or people who have worn them and are, are like selling them secondhand on Poshmark, I've literally seen every single size on Poshmark some of them for as cheap as like $200 $300 depending on the size and I actually paid I think $400 for mine and I got them at Second Street Vintage which I will be visiting <laughs> in the next New York City vlog because I found so many gems in that consignment store um, it's literally right on the same street as Howard Hotel right across the street from Nomo Soho so yeah I feel like they will look, does this have pockets? Did I know these pants, ha these shorts have pockets? They have pockets, you guys. Did I know that? I don't remember that them having pockets. You guys, these shorts have pockets. I am shook. I feel like I knew that they had pockets. I can't believe they have pockets. I'm so excited about the pocket. <laughs> why am I excited about the, the strangest things? I don't know why, but you got, I'm so bright here, you guys, but pockets, so cool. These are available at Bergdorf, so I'll link them below. They are very expensive. I just want y'all to know before you click the link and look at the price, but uh, they're like one of a kind. Uh, so hopefully I can get these off because I feel like it'll be a little bit harder in the winter to style these shorts I, I mean I could do them with like an opaque tight and like a knee-high boot but I feel like I want to wear them now I feel like they they would go better maybe even with that uh Christopher John Rogers like sweater that I bought but it's definitely not going to be sweater weather in two weeks unless something crazy happens in New York City but again we'll link these below and you guys they have pockets Okay, for a few more events, I mean, I'm not sure what kind of event I would wear this to, but I feel like something's gonna pop up. So I have this cream colored dress from Meshki, 
at this point y'all are probably sick of this off the shoulder <laughs> maxi dress it's kind of a see-through knit i want you to be able to see the fabric there we go so this is the cream version i also have it in mint green that you would have seen me wear i'll pop some inspo up mint green i wore to a lunch at casa donna with 818 tequila and then the burgundy i wore while i was in palm beach at white elephant for dinner at lola 41 restaurants and i have this cream one i'm not sure what occasion i will end up wearing this cream one for but i feel like an occasion will present itself for me to wear this dress so we are going to pack her as well and i feel like this vibe is more for new york because it is a long sleeve and a maxi dress even though it's off the shoulder i feel like it fits new york better than it would miami unless i'm gonna be someplace where the ac is blasting like a restaurant <laughs> um which that's usually how it goes here in miami um let me show you oh by the way i got that in a medium in all of those dresses i am wearing a medium and the medium fits fine but i think most of them are sold out so if they happen to restock get them immediately the black one is currently on its way to me and it does seem like the darker the color on brown skin the more sheer it is so the mint green was like you could barely see through it even though it's a lighter color Whereas when I wore the burgundy, I could see through the burgundy more than that. So it's going to be sheer anyway, girls. So just get it. Next up, we have my Nina Richie bow top. Now she is just extravagant. It's a top that looks like a bow. Um, it's basically a bralette top on the inside. By the way, it's by Nina Richie. On the inside, it has a little bralette. I don't know if you guys can see that there um, and a little bit of like the sticky stuff that kind of makes it stay up and then it has a little clip here on the side to close it but you put both sleeves in and it looks like a huge bow my thing is I don't know when else I will be able to wear this top in New York um, I've worn it in Miami for Christmas in fact I'll pop up some inspo um, I wore it with some stirrup leggings and my favorite pair of shoes, which are the um, the golden toe shoes from Scaparelli. Uh, but I feel like this is a moment and this needs to happen. So the way I feel like I'm going to style this for New York Fashion Week is with a pair of like cut off denim jeans or shorts and like the tallest most sexiest heel i can find and like a hat <laughs> because this is so like over the top and dressy that i can't wear more dressy things with it i mean i can if i was like going to a a dinner or like a, a gala i could wear like a long flowing tight black fishtail maxi skirt and do that kind of vibe but i want to for my my new york looks they're either they're a little bit edgier and that's what i want to that's what i want to bring to my looks this season so the the top is already doing the most so i think with everything else i'm gonna just let the top do all the work and everything else will be kind of toned down but yeah a very fun top i ended up getting this on sale from either farfetch or satire i can't remember but one of my favorite tops in my wardrobe and I've yet to, I think I did wear it to a brunch um, here in Miami and then I wore it for New Year's, not New Year's, I wore it for my Christmas Instagram post. But I haven't worn it since and I haven't worn it in New York. So this deserves a very New York moment. Perhaps even my Margiela slash jeans and like a, a tall heel like these. Like these heels, these mesh pumps from YSL. These are probably the tallest, sexiest pumps that I own. But they're also like, I needed a plain black pump. And these are it. <laughs> For Miami anyways, because they are mesh. They're harder to wear in New York in the winter. 
but they're still super like fun. So I feel like a pair of denim cut off or a pair of denim like baggy jeans with this heel and that top, it would be a vibe. And even like a hat, like a fitted hat or my hair just back in like a slick low bun, baby hair is done, like a, a big hoop. I hope you guys like I'm giving you the vibe, but I don't want to show you the fits yet. Like these super thick hoops from the brand Elliot. You can get these at Revolve as well. I got mine from Kith, but you can get these same exact earrings on Revolve. Like I feel like that would be such a vibe and like a momentous moment. So that's going to happen. Definitely packing that top. Uh, I have two more pieces to show you all. Almost everything that I'm wearing for New York Fashion Week, you've seen me wear. Except, actually that's not true because you haven't seen me wear <laughs> the poochie skirt. I haven't worn any of these things over here. So disregard that. But I will be packing this set from Andrea Iyama, which I think is so gorge. I actually wore this when I was in Morocco for my birthday. I didn't get any really good pictures in it. But it's like a maxi skirt that has um, kind of like a waistband and it also has like a little corset in the back and then kind of like a crop top that has really long flowy sleeves and I think this will be fun for like an event. Again, I have more events than shows so I need a lot more pieces. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm thinking this will be great for an event that I'm attending. I do have a luncheon that I will be attending and I believe it is mainly for black creators. Uh, so of course, again, I wanna wear a black owned business for that and I feel like this two piece uh, set from Andrea Iyama would be perfect for that. Uh, finally, I've had this outfit in my head forever but I feel like it was giving more New York than Miami vibes so I kind of saved it even though I don't really I try not to save my clothes y'all know I'll be wearing my stuff uh but for this particular fit I knew I wanted to wear it for fashion week so we have this sheer orange asymmetrical skirt from Mango I picked it up this summer I actually took you guys with me to Mango when I picked this up it's just a fun sheer skirt I got it around the same time I picked up the, the mango Victoria Beckham heels. So we have this piece, which underneath I will literally just wear underwear, probably bigger underwear like bloomers. So it's not like vulgar. You're not going to see my, my booty cheeks because it is quite sheer, but yes, this skirt. And then I bought this top from Bergdorf Goodman or did I get it from shop Bob? I can't remember, but it's from the brand Interior and I've been loving interior pieces. I did, I wore this super cute skirt. It's like a white, almost like a pleated mini tennis skirt during my uh, Hamptons vlog, the first one. Um, and I got that from Shopbop, but this was kind of the piece that started me on my journey of loving interior as a brand and it is this really funky sweater it's quite a ch like a it porous so it is see-through so I feel like this will be fine for New York especially if it's more of like an evening event but what it sold me is the super wide neck and I love this little like <laughs> portion of it that's like round and puffy like it's so cool how they incorporated that into the sweater. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this sweater with this skirt over top. So I'm doing a lot of sheer, but the skirt, the, the sweater is kind of long enough to cover my bum. So I'm not too worried about much showing, but this is more of like cutesy, demure type of vibe, like very feminine, very flirty. Um, one of my more feminine and flirty looks versus edgy looks for New York Fashion Week. And it'll kind of be off the shoulder. And then for the shoe, I'm thinking these. So these are my Ferragamo wedges. 
and you can see they have like a bit of like yellow brown cream orange and then we have the white in the stones and a little bit of the orange here and i feel like this would be such a cute look now it's leaning more fall but of course i can't wear this in february i'll freeze so i can definitely get it off for new york and i think it'll be such a cute look and like a cute vibe i don't know if this this sweater is still available it's from the brand interior but if it is, I'll try and find it for you guys and link it. It was quite expensive. All of the pieces from interior are like $400 and up. Don't ask me why. They are, but they're very much giving like the row kind of quiet luxury, but with an edge, with a fun edge. So I think that would be a super cute look. And I'll probably pair the look with like a brown bag. I think I have a brown bag in New York. I could always do my brown Jacquemus bag, which is kind of my go-to whenever I'm wearing brown. This is the Grand Chiquito. I don't even think they make this side, this color anymore. I could also probably do, let's see. I can do my Louis Vuitton bag, my vintage one, which is all the way back here. So we have this Louis Vuitton bag from the men's collection that's embossed with LV symbols. I picked this up from what goes around comes around in LA when I was last out there. And I feel like the colors go fairly well. They're pretty spot on actually. And so it kind of pulls everything together. This is gonna be one of my favorite looks. I hope it looks as good on as I feel like it does in my mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. You guys, I think that's about it for what I'm packing for Labor Day and New York Fashion Week. There are quite a few pieces that are already in New York. So I think what we'll do is we'll head, we'll rewind it forward back to New York and I'll show you a couple of more pieces that I already had taken to New York when I was previously there. But this is what I'm taking and it's not much. I was thinking I was gonna have to bring like three suitcases, but I won't because I was strategic in how I packed and I already packed and have taken a lot of things to New York. So that makes me happy. So we will be packing this bag. I feel like this will be great. Like just a pop of fun color for Labor Day. If I have to carry a bunch of stuff, this will be good. I kind of want to bring my Mason Detta bag as well. Just because it's such a fun like shape. I feel like this would be a great conversation starter. And since I'm going to more like events where I'll be up close and personal and talking to brands and designers um, I feel like anything that can start a conversation like my boutique no no like my uh, Loewe balloon sandals are a must those types of pieces are the pieces that make people remember you and start a conversation so I think out of my bags that are here I'll probably end up bringing these two I feel like I will want to bring my gold Fendi. I was actually going to sell this, but I decided not to because it's such like a one of a kind piece. And it's really, it works really well for nighttime vibes, um, especially if I'm wearing like gold accessories. So I don't know, we might take this. I'm not wearing a lot of red, so I don't think I'll need a red bag. I'll probably definitely take her because she's my favorite bag at the moment, my Chanel sandbag. I probably wear this bag more than any other bag and it's because it's clear. So it technically goes with everything. And then the hardware on this Chanel bag is a cross between gold and silver, so I can really wear either. So that's what makes this bag so accessible this is why i reach for it probably the most and then i will probably bring this bag as well 
to match with my uh, Ferragamo heels. And that's about four bags. I feel like the rest of the bags I really wanted to wear are, are already in New York. Do I need a cream, like white line? I don't feel like this is going with much. So we're gonna leave this here. And I hope this is helpful for you all for like my thought process about how I pack, not just for fashion week, but for my trips. I, I print, I don't print it out, but I'll pull up my itinerary and you know, if I'm going to dinner, I know I need a dinner outfit. I need something depending on where it is. If it's in New York, if it's in the fall, it needs to be long sleeves. It needs to be warm. And I just take those things into account when I am packing. That way I have a specific piece that I know I'm going to wear for an event, um, regardless of weather. And then I usually have one kind of lounge backup wear piece um, for like shopping and when I'm doing something that doesn't require me having to take a photo. <laughs> when I'm just relaxing and chilling. So I usually have one or two backup chill outfits. And then I also usually will pack an extra dress, like dressy going out kind of vibe, just in case, because something always kind of pops up. Maybe a friend will invite me to an event that I wasn't invited to, or I'm a plus one for something and I did, don't have anything. Uh, so that's how I pack. But I also, for me personally, I don't have to worry about that too much, especially for New York Fashion Week, because I already have three closets. Well, two closets full of things in New York that I can also choose from. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I think I'm also gonna pack, the only thing I haven't shown you are these Alaya sandals. They're my favorite sandals. And I believe there is a dupe of these out right now. These sandals were over a thousand dollars. It's a liar. <laughs> it's a liar, girl. You paying for the name. But, and the quality is insane. And they are very, very comfortable. But there's definitely a dupe for these. And the dupe is good. The dupe is duping. I've seen a lot of girlies with the dupe. So if you love the look of these, but you don't like the price tag of the Elias, I will link a few dupes of these down below and you can check them out so i think that's it the reason i made this video right now is because i'm packing i'm actually leaving at 7 a.m tomorrow morning to fly to new york so this has been very helpful for me and hopefully it was helpful for you so we're gonna take it back to new york i'll maybe show you three or four things there that i think are more for labor day than they are for fashion week and yeah but don't forget to check out ideal because they have the pieces i love my little diamond glove oh she's so cute all right guys i'll see you back in new york everything is linked below all right you guys that is it for what i'm packing i hope you enjoyed today's video by the way i never <laughs> showed you what i was wearing today i'm wearing this super old top from nasty gal if i can find anything similar i'll link it and then this crinkle skirt that you've seen me wear previously in this beautiful green is from and other stories um and so i'll link this as well but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you will watch the New York Fashion Week vlogs. There, were, there, there will probably be two. So you can see how I style and wear all of these pieces. And don't forget to check out Ideal for incredible, sustainable, beautiful, lab-grown, attainable jewelry. I've linked all of my favorite pieces that I own down below. They also had a really incredible uh, Labor Day sale that I did promote on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you missed out. So definitely go over to Instagram and give your girl a follow at Monroe Steel to stay up to date with all the things that are happening. Also, I will be doing something really cool during New York Fashion Week. This event will be open to the public and if you want to know more about it, 
sign up for my newsletter there is a link to it in the first pinned comment as well as in the, my description box all you have to do is click the link put in your email and you will get a newsletter from me every tuesday um it's free you don't have to pay for it and you will get all the details in case you're looking for an event to attend during New York Fashion Week and you would like to see me. All right, you guys, thank you so much to Ideal for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know down in the, down in the comments what your favorite piece of Ideal jewelry was as well as your favorite piece of clothing that I packed for Labor Day and for New York Fashion Week. All right, you guys, everything is linked down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.